That is huge. Can you picture Superman, Thor, Thunderbolt, demolishing Mount Everest? Yeah, just your average fictional Friday. Hello, and welcome to The Wonderful Wonders, Episode 1. The realm where knowledge meets curiosity. And in this channel, we explore fascinating facts and uncover hidden wonders about the world we live in. From the depths of the ocean to the mysteries of the cosmos, we'll take you on a journey of discovery. Here are 10 real facts about planet Earth. 1. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun and is approximately 4.5 billion years old. In summary, the Earth's position as the third planet from the Sun and its estimated age of 4.5 billion years are a result of its formation within the protoplanetary disk and subsequent processes like accretion, differentiation, and the moon forming impact. These factors have shaped the Earth into the habitable planet we know today. 2. Earth is the only known planet to support life. It has a diverse range of ecosystems, including forests, deserts, oceans, and grasslands. Picture this. A cosmic talent show where planets are strutting their stuff, showing off their environments. First up, we have Earth, confidently striding onto the stage, rocking an impressive variety of ecosystems, and the crowd goes wild. Earth, hey there universe, look at me. I've got forests, deserts, oceans, and grasslands all in one package. Talk about multitasking. It's like having a buffet with options for everyone, from tree huggers to sun-worshipping cacti. Now the other planets start to grumble and complain. Mercury chimes in, all cheeky and cocky, saying, Oh, I've got the hottest deserts in town, with temperatures that'll fry your spacecraft. Step right up and get a taste of the scorching inferno. Venus, with its thick atmosphere and relentless greenhouse effect, tries to steal the show, saying, Puffed! Deserts! Child's play! I've got a runaway greenhouse effect that'll cook your brain like a fried egg. Who needs diverse ecosystems when you can have one hellish sauna? But Earth isn't phased. It struts across the stage, exclaiming, Sure, Venus, you're hot and all, but I've got the perfect blend of temperature, sunlight, and rain. It's like having a recipe for life that just can't be beaten. 3. The Earth's atmosphere is composed of roughly 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and trace amounts of other gases like carbon dioxide and argon. Oh, the Earth's atmosphere. It's like a cosmic cocktail party. Except instead of martinis and fancy drinks, we've got a mix of gases that'll make your head spin. So, let me break it down for you. First up, we have nitrogen, the party pooper of the bunch, making up a whopping 78% of the atmosphere. It's like that friend who always shows up uninvited, taking up all the space and not really doing anything exciting. Nitrogen just hangs around, not really participating in any wild chemical reactions. It's the ultimate wallflower, content to be the background noise at this atmospheric shindig. Now, oxygen is the life of the party, strutting in with its confident swagger, taking up 21% of the guest list. It's like the cool kid who brings all the energy and excitement. Oxygen gets everyone going, fueling fires and giving us the ability to breathe. Without it, we'd all be gasping for air like fish out of water, which would make for a pretty awkward party to say the least. But let's not forget about the other gases like carbon dioxide and argon, who are like the quirky characters in this comedic atmosphere ensemble. Carbon dioxide is the prankster, messing with the climate and causing all sorts of trouble. It's like that one friend who can't resist pulling practical jokes and making everyone a little uneasy. And then there's argon, the mysterious loner at the party. It's just kind of there, not really doing much of anything. Argon is like that stranger you strike up a conversation with, hoping for some fascinating stories, but they end up being a total snooze fest. It's the shy introvert of the gas world. So there you have it, the Earth's atmosphere in a nutshell. Nitrogen, the uninvited guest hogging the spotlight. Oxygen, the life of the party keeping us all alive. Carbon dioxide, the troublemaker stirring things up. And argon, the awkward loner in the corner. It's a gas-filled show that keeps us breathing and guessing. Four. The Earth's surface is about 70% covered by water, with the remaining 30% consisting of continents and islands. Well, you see, the Earth's surface is like a giant cosmic smoothie. Mother Nature, being a master chef, thought, hmm, what if I add some water to this mix? And voila, 
She poured in about 70% of water, giving us the world's most refreshing and hydrating smoothie base. But she didn't want us to get too waterlogged, so she sprinkled in some continents and islands, just like tasty little croutons, to add a bit of crunch and variety. So now we have this hilarious culinary masterpiece called Planet Earth, where you can take a dip in the ocean and then hop on a continent for some solid ground shenanigans. Bon appetit! 5. Earth has a powerful magnetic field generated by its molten iron core. This field protects the planet from harmful solar radiation. Well, you see, Earth's magnetic field is like a superhero cape made of molten iron. Deep within the planet, there's a hot, swirling, and somewhat rebellious core made of liquid iron. This core is so intense that it creates a magnetic field that extends far into space, just like a boss. Think of it like Earth having a giant magnetic umbrella, protecting us from getting sunburned by the sun's wild dance moves. It's like the sun is trying to play a prank on Earth, but our magnetic field is there to say, sorry sun, but your tricks won't work on us. Six, the highest point on Earth is Mount Everest, standing at 8,848 meters, that is 29,029 feet above sea level, while the lowest point is the Mariana Trench, reaching a depth of about 11,034 meters, that is 36,070 feet below sea level. Whoa, that is huge. Can you picture Superman, Thor, or Thunderbolt demolishing Mount Everest? Yeah, just your average fictional Friday. Seven, the Earth's rotation causes day and night. It takes approximately 24 hours for the Earth to complete one full rotation on its axis. Well, picture the Earth as a giant spinning top. It's like a never-ending dance move. As it twirls around, it creates something called day and night. During the day, the part of the Earth you're on faces the sun, so you get to enjoy its bright and warm rays. It's like having a spotlight shining on you. But when the Earth spins you away from the sun, it becomes nighttime. You're now facing away from the sun, and darkness surrounds you like a cozy blanket. That's when it's time for the stars to come out and twinkle. This dance between day and night happens because the Earth takes about 24 hours to complete one full spin, like a slow and steady pirouette. So as it rotates, different parts of the Earth get their turn in the sun's spotlight, creating our daily cycle of day and night. 8. Earth experiences four distinct seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter due to its axial tilt as it orbits the sun. Well, picture the Earth as a little round toy with a fancy tilt, like a wobbly spinning top. This fancy tilt is the Earth's axial tilt. Now imagine the sun as a big shining lamp hanging in space. When the top part of the Earth is leaning towards the sun, it's like getting a warm, cozy hug. That's summer. The sun shines more directly on that side and it gets hotter. Then the Earth keeps spinning and starts to straighten up like a penguin sobering up. The sun's rays become less direct and it's not too hot or too cold. That's spring or autumn, the in-between seasons. But wait, there's more. As the Earth keeps going, the bottom part starts to lean towards the sun and the top part moves away. Brr, it's like the Earth is saying, chilly, time for winter. The sun's rays become even less direct and it gets colder. 9. The largest ocean on Earth is the Pacific Ocean, covering more than 63 million square miles, that is 165 million square kilometers. Picture this. It's like a gigantic bathtub for all the fishies and sea creatures. It's so massive that if you laid out all its water, you could have 165 million square kilometers of swimming space. That's like giving every fish a luxury suite with room service. Number 10. Earth is home to an estimated 8.7 million species, though scientists believe this number could be much higher. However, human activities are leading to a significant loss of biodiversity. So picture this. Earth, the ultimate reality TV show, featuring a whopping 8.7 million species. It's like a cosmic version of Survivor, but with more contestants than you can shake a stick at. Scientists are the show's producers, trying to keep track of all the contestants. They're like those TV hosts with a never-ending cue card, constantly saying, and here we have another new species. Where do they keep coming from? But hold on. The producers suspect there's an even crazier twist in the game. They think the actual number of species might be even higher. It's like a hidden episode that they can't find on their DVR. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an exciting facts about our nature. 
And don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends who also love expanding their knowledge. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of our incredible world. Stay curious and keep exploring. Thank you.